Go for those who respond on time. Go for those who make who make it obvious. Well, go for those who you can put money on the fact that they want you back too. Because those will always lead to happier interactions. But when you're trying to climb a mountain, trying to be Bob the Builder, Bob the Restorer, trying to fix everyone, trying to c convince someone, Googling how to convince someone to like you and trying it, you can only do so much, man. To the point where, where, you, where you end up being bitter and hurt and resentful towards the opposite sex. You can only do too much. If the person is not making it obvious, like for example, like people who want a relationship with someone and, and it's been months, five months, six months. And it's like, look, man, I get they like you and I get they give you signs they like you, but you're not following the rule. Only pursue those who are making it obvious they like you. If there's any doubt, any sense of like hesitation, any like, like ambiguous signal, you don't go after them. Why? Why? Because... When somebody likes you, it's, it's like I say, it's like, it's crack, motherfucker. It's crack. A crackhead is predictable. You know a crackhead's value. You know what they're going to do. You know who they're going to respond to and who they're not going to respond to. You know what they're going to be doing tomorrow. You know what they're going to be doing this morning. They are predictable because they are addicted. It's the same thing with you. When you are, when somebody wants you and it's addicted to you, they have a set pattern of behavior that doesn't deviate because the emotions are so strong, the compulsions are so strong to get closer to you that there's no space for them to apply any of these strategies because the compulsion is too strong to, 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 to facilitate any sense of self-control. This has made my life easier, to be honest with you. I don't follow it 100%. I'm being honest. I don't follow it 100%. I follow it like... 85% of the time, 90% of the time. You know, I may get played 10% of the time, and that's fine. I have meditation. I meditate. I, Whenever I get hurt, whenever I feel down, whenever I feel like somebody hurt my ego or, or I see something and I feel jealous, now I just gravitate towards meditation. I just sit down, do the meditations that I talk about in my course, Emotional Mastery. Um, and through the process that I teach in that course, which I do teach you guys here too, through that process... Every time I feel down, I gravitate towards meditation. I'm telling you, the, the, the pain that I feel, it's almost like, it doesn't go away, but it's almost like you're giving it a relaxing massage. And the pain just feels light. The pain doesn't have any bitterness. There is pain. There is rejection. But there is no, fuck that bitch, that stupid bitch. She tried to betray me. She tried to play me. I'm massaging it. And I'm relaxing that pain so that it's there without a narrative. It's there without making somebody look like the evil person. It's there without making me feel like the victim. It's only there like seeing clouds in the sky. It's just there. You don't react to it. If you guys do this, this is an indication of high self-esteem. Because you'll notice... If your self-esteem is low, if your self-opinion is low, anytime somebody triggers this feeling of low self-worth by making you chase and over-pursue, because again, you'll notice that when you chase, you feel down. Like you're chasing because you feel insecure. So for me, only go for those people who don't make you feel insecure. So that means you got to learn how to stop that compulsive habit of feeling insecure and chasing. You got to break that pattern. And that's why when you feel that, Practice meditation. Give yourself at least 10 minutes of meditation. Even if you do start acting creepy and needy, give yourself at least 10 minutes of meditation so that you could start breaking the pattern rather than acting and rather than feeling the emotion of neediness and desperateness and then acting on it. Now you're feeling the emotion, meditating for five or 10 minutes, and then acting on it. When you act on it, you don't, you don't act in full throttle like before. There's actually, you slow down that momentum. And the more you interrupt this pattern, by, by feeling, meditating, and then acting in your creepy way, over time, the compulsion to act goes away. And all you're left with is a, is a sense of peace, which is your true self-esteem. So for me, if I don't sense any enthusiasm in how you're texting me, if you're not, if you're not following through on meeting up with me, if you're not initiating contact from time to time, if when you're with me, there's no sense of excitement. Even if you're shy, you can you can sense that they're excited. You know what I'm saying? If they're not if if they're not receptive to to being in a relationship, is if over the weeks you don't sense that there's an increased enthusiasm to see you, or rather, there's a decreased enthusiasm to see you. If but for, but the most important thing is the feeling they give you. If you feel confused. 
insecure if if you if you sense that you cannot really predict them that's not a good sign now if you're highly 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 insecure then this might be you don't know what's what right it could be your mind or it could be the reality but consistently any feeling of confusion or like what's going on or like this makes no sense don't try to be a fucking mathematician don't try to make sense out of it don't try to make sense out of people who are being passive aggressive who are hot and cold don't try to make sense out of those people trying to make sense out of them is how you end up falling how you end up over how you end up chasing people who don't want you back fuck that don't try to make sense this is not a puzzle okay only go for those who when you think about you know they like you when you you know what they're gonna do tomorrow you know how they're gonna react to you you know that if you text them multiple times, it's not a problem. You don't, you're not walking on neck shells. You're not afraid. How to, you're not interpreting every little thing that they say to you. You're not focusing on little details. Hey, they looked at me and winked weird. What does that mean? I'm like, bitch, he just winked, okay? Like, he need a lubricant in his eye, motherfucker. Like, all of that type of stuff. Hyperfixation on the little things. You know, he looked at me, you know, she looked at me weird and she smiled, but then she pulled away. What does that mean? You, if you're asking questions about the simplest thing, if you're hesitating about which text to send, it's the, you're 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 noticing something unconsciously that is making you be extra careful. Fuck being extra careful. If they if you feel like you have to be extra careful, watch your word, send the right text. Oh my God, I said hi, not hola. Are they losing interest, motherfucker? Who gives a fuck? All right, it, you, we don't make it complicated. Just go for those who make you feel secure, who remove any doubt in your mind. And over time, your self-esteem will go up because you're not dealing with half-hearted lovers. All right? Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Just don't chase people who don't chase you back. All right? And if you do that, and you, and if you do that, don't tell people you watch my channel. All right? All right, guys. We're going to have a brief intermission so that I can tell you guys about our new bundle that we're doing where you guys can purchase all of my courses and get it at a discount. So this bundle is pretty much um, the bundle where you could just buy all of my courses. You could buy um, Nice Guy, which is a training course on how to come across more assertive, how to come across more confident, um, how to not give off Nice Guy vibes. You guys can get access to Dark Game, um, which is my folk dating course on how to meet women in different scenarios, how to attract women, how to make sure you don't come across as creepy, and essentially how to act like a man and not act like a doofus, to be quite honest with you. Um, and you get all of these bonuses, which is the bonuses of Dark Game, the bonuses of Practical Mastery, uh, which is about how to master a skill, Social Mastery, which is how to master your social life, and the Laws of Human Nature, which is a book club video that I had dissecting Robert Greene's book. You, all of this is naturally at around 238, 200, no, naturally is at $346, but you guys can purchase this bundle and get it at, what, what's the price again? Uh, get it at um, two. 238 pretty much um so you guys can purchase it right now um it's a money money back 30 day money back guarantee uh it's a good way to rather than just buying them individually and paying extra you guys can just purchase everything at a discount price now the only thing i don't like is the fact that i'm giving you a lot of information at the same time that makes me kind of scared because a lot of times people don't do the things that I teach when I, when you get too much information. But I've gotten too many requests to do this. So I'm just satisfying you guys purchase it right now by clicking on the description down below where it says purchase the bundle. All right, let's continue with the video.